E-mini S&P start the week off slowly, seeing a modest increase to 46.25, slightly higher from Friday's close. But taking a step back, since the 9% rally we saw back in the month of November, E-minis have really only rallied about 1% since then. So it's been a slow start to December, given what we saw back in November, as the market continues to look for clues as to when the Fed might start cutting rates. Market expectations have been shifting back and forth right now, looking at about 50-50 odds that they start that rate cutting cycle in March. Certainly going to see a rate cut by uh, May or June meeting, but clearly the market looking for when, not if. And we've seen E-minis rally, but that rally has slowed over the last couple of weeks. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, volatility in the stock indices, we've talked about this time and again. As stocks rally, we see in volatility moving lower and vice versa. We saw volatility hit a new year-to-date low on Friday as we saw stocks were higher, but not through the roof higher. Today, we saw volatility actually uptick slightly, perhaps some event risk given, like as I mentioned, we've got some key data coming out in central bank meetings, whatnot, but that may have given volatility a little bit of a reason to bid uh, as it comes off those uber lows. And lastly, let's talk about what we have tomorrow and later this week. Tomorrow is a key day for the markets. We'll get CPI, the Consumer Price Index. Obviously, the Fed has been hanging its hat on that as to how aggressive inflation is coming down or not coming down enough. Likewise, on Wednesday, which becomes another important day, we get PPI, the Producer Price Index, along with FOMC. Obviously, those three event points are going to be very key to stock trading as they could give us a clearer picture as to when and if the Fed will be cutting rates in the spring, as the market is predicting. So starting off the week, we see E-mini slightly higher, hovering at 46.25 ahead of tomorrow's all-important CPI, followed Wednesday by PPI and the FOMC. 